Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Google Drive tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily download all of the files that you have on Google Drive. And we'll be using a free tool that Google has created, so no third-party software or other websites, anything like that. Now, you can easily download any file from Google, as well as many files from Google, by just selecting them, right-clicking, and then going to download. But if you want to download every single file from Google Drive, you'll need to use a new tool from Google. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to a website, and that is takeout.google.com, and check the description. If you get lost, I'll have a detailed write-up, as well as all the links that I discussed down there for you. So once you get to takeout.google.com, make sure you're logged in to the correct account, and you'll see right here, download your data. So this site is designed for you to download all the data that you currently have on Google. This includes everything from YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive, Google Photos, everything. But we want to download just Google Drive. So what we need to do is scroll down and first next to products, select deselect all. So make sure that you select that. That'll remove the check marks next to all the different products that Google has. Then we need to scroll down until we see drive right here and then select that. Now you can go in, you can change some of these options, including which formats you want the different types of files, such as documents, spreadsheets, what format you want those to be downloaded in. And then also some advanced settings, such as downloading historical versions of files. So if you updated the file several times, it'll allow you to download all the different versions of that file. And then finally, we could select all drive data included. And you just want to make sure that this is checked to include all files and folders in Google Drive. So all those settings are basically default. Really, the only thing you need to do is make sure that the checkbox next to Drive is selected, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and select Next Step. So the second step, which is Customize Archive Format, it's basically how you'll be downloading all the information. So first, the delivery method, select this drop down. They can first email you a link to where you can download it. That's probably the easiest option right there. Or if you have another online cloud storage, such as Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box, you can actually connect your Google Drive account with OneDrive or Dropbox and have them actually send it over to them automatically. But in this tutorial, we'll be using the links via email. After that, you can select the export type. Is this going to be a one-time download or do you want to do this on a regular basis? And then also the file type, which I recommend just keeping it at a zip file. And then finally, we have archive size. So if you have a lot of data, they'll break it up into multiple downloads. You can do it by two gigabyte downloads all the way up to 50 gigabyte downloads. That means if you select two gigabytes and you have four gigabytes of data in your Google Drive, then it's going to be split into two separate two gigabyte files. So you'll be downloading two separate files. It'll encompass all of your Google Drive data. All right, so once we've configured our settings here, all we need to do is select Create Archive right here. So once you see Archive Process and this right here, basically that means the archive is being created by Google. Just keep in mind, this can take a long time. It can take hours or possibly days, depending on how much data you have in Google Drive. Now, once your archive has been downloaded, you'll get an email with the subject, your Google Data Archive is ready. Go ahead and open that up and then select the link Download Archive. This will take you to a website where it says Manage Archives, and that's where you can find the latest archive that you did. It gives you the size of your archive, and then you can select the Download button right here. And then I'll save the file. And then when you open the download file, you'll be able to see all the files that you had in Google Drive are now on your computer. So that's how you download all the files you have on Google Drive using Google Takeout. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Google or Google Drive tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.